Yo, what's going on guys? It's Boston Day 31 coming at you with a brand new video here today on the channel and this is going to be very similar to the other ones and as you can tell in the title of this video, if we get lucky at the draft, this is what if Grayson Allen was drafted by the Charlotte Hornets. If you guys like these video ideas, make sure to leave a like and uh, comment below which player you want to see next and subscribe for more potential rebound, rebuilds like this on the channel. Let me know. And um, if you guys want to see a vlog, potential vlog here on the channel, whenever I go down to Charlotte with that here in a couple weeks, let me know in the comments below as well. And uh, so we have the 11th pick, and um, well, we're pretty just going to uh, not talk right now because I'm stuttering my words. But pretty much right now, we are just be rebuilding from the ground up. Charlotte, and we will keep the head coach because he is their real life man and real life coach. We need a new scout. Let's go after Don Carter and then a new trainer, Randy Morton. Not A minus training and then the potential, but that's fine. We don't get Dylan Moore, which is kind of weird, but we did sign him again. So we get Dylan Moore, we have a decent coach, but um, we'll have to see how it goes here. So let's send to the draft. Hopefully, Grayson Allen has fell to us at pick number 11. Okay, so we also got some chances at Marvin Bagley, Wendell Carter Jr., but for the safety of this video, there's Grayson Allen. We'll draft him here at pick 11. Do we have any more? Okay, we got pick 55. So we're here near the end of the draft, and we will uh, we pick up his college teammate, or do we pick up Ali Okobo? I think we got Ali Okobo before, but we never have gotten Jalen Brunson or Gary Trent Jr. So let's get Jalen Brunson, because why not? So eight goes one to the Grizzlies, and there is number 11, Grayson Allen's. Grayson Allen's Grayson Allen. So then look at Miles Bridges ends up going to the Clippers and followed by Aaron Holiday. Uh, Marvin Bagley falls all the way down to pick 14 to the Nuggets. So that's a very surprise pick there. And then our second pick, we got Jalen Brunson. He was one of the best young players in the draft at the time. We drafted him. That was really good to see. And we'll sign them both. 70 overall and 73. Um, we have a few options. We got Stone, but we won't bring him back. We could make a big potential free agent signing here, but with how this team looks from the very beginning, we just have so many big contracts. So we'll move on from, uh, let's see what can we get here for just Dwight Howard. It says, it looks like he is on a member of the Wizards. So if we ooh, Kelly Oubre and Naheem, that'd be a way to clear up some cap, but that would not work. Um, get Andre Iguodala from the Lakers. Got Ron Pierce as well. I cannot talk to the Warriors. Um, get Alan Williams from the Suns. That'd be interesting. Um, da -da -da -da. He's 32, so he's almost about to retire as well. So, ooh, the Lakers. They will offer us a two first round picks. That should come in handy. And they have a center. They can give us Zubach. I know I get him a lot in these, but. And I'll throw in. We get three first round picks from them. We clear up 37 mil in cap. That is surprises. That surprises me. Wow. All right. So, wow. We have so many picks coming up. That is great. All right. Any more players we want to trade away? We're not keep. We're not trading the Kimball Walker. Try and keep him around. So Nicholas Batum. And um, Cody Zeller. Let's see if we can package them together in a deal and clear up a little bit more money. So that'd be an interesting 
Trey, Trey or Robert Covington. I'd like that actually quite a lot. We could get John Collins again, but we just got him in the previous rebuild with the Suns. So let's get Rocco and uh, now that we got Robert Covington. So we need a, we really need a power forward in free agency. Um, let's trade away. We trade away Jeremy Lamb. Yeah, Jeremy Lamb's getting paid seven mil just to not do anything here on the team. Looks like for the time being. Uh, get Jr. No, thank you. Marcus Morris, bring him in, but we just got him in the other rebuild as well. John Collins, I really want to get him because he progresses really well. You know what? Screw it. We're going to get John Collins. So we need a backup point guard to um, help Kimball Walker here because we're going to put Jalen Brunson in the G League. Um, Blake Monk. We'll keep him around. We'll... All around this team is just okay. We need a uh, starting shooting guard in place of Blake Monk. We can go after Zach Levine, even though he is a restricted free agent. Or we can go after Will Barton. We got a lot of money in cap, so that is really good to see. And power forward, Jabari Parker. He'd be a good little fit for us, I think. It's the match we can throw at somebody. So we'll have to write, we're going to have to write on stone. Connor Williams, Graham, Mackin, keep cap hold on. Marcus Page. We're going to have to write on John O'Brien. Parker goes back to the Bucks. That's really sad to see. Julius Randle, we've gotten him before. Eric Favors, I think we've got him. Montrez Harrell, not really asking for a lot of money. You know, if we could offer him some, that'd be really good. Just a two-year deal, and we could get both of them. And, um, let's see, what's that kid's name? Marcus Page. So, got both of those guys. And Marcus Page, where you at? We'll just sign him to like a veteran's minimum. Not a veteran, but. He's not wanting to be paid a whole lot, so we'll just offer him a two year deal. And we'll sign him to the team. So we got a really good shooting guard. We'll turn away the late lump now. Um, we'll keep. We'll keep a. Well, actually, we need to clear up that 13 mil. Like Chris Kilchrist, because Bird's not going to be paying a lot for players this year. So we are in partial rebuild mode. We can get him from the Mavericks. That'd be interesting to see. Can they give us. Andre Roberson. I always try and get him either in free agency or anything. He's he can't shoot the ball, but he can play really good defense for us. How tall is he? Six seven. So he's pretty much just replacing on um, Kid Kilchrist here. So uh, we got really good one. We got a really good guard in Kimball Walker. Got Three really good, four potentially really good here. Um, small forward could be. So let's put uh, where is everybody at here? Andre Roberson. He goes up to a 79 overall. Small forward, so that's really good to see. So uh, Dwayne Bacon, he will for sure be a G League guy. I said he will not like that at all because he probably spent a lot. No, he did not. All right, so. Um, do we really need a backup third string center? I don't think so. No, we do not. So, uh, player progression now. We'll get there. Anybody really stand up? John Collins is already up to an 80. We'll, we'll make it be very tough to make it in this um, league how it is now. But, um, 
if everything goes well with this first season, I'd be very surprised. We finished 36 and 46 in 2018 season, so just have to wait and see how it goes. Um, let's download the draft class for 2019. And that will be the one up here on the top. Five to 24 updates. Now let's just go straight into training camps. We have three of them, so that is really good to see. Let's um, send perimeter shooting to Andre Roberson. Um, untapped potential, we'll send it to Grayson Allen. He was B plus, so he's now up to an A minus. So that is really good to see. And then, last but not least, we'll send it to John Collins. He's up to an A minus as well. So, teammate chemistry of 24%. We send Marcus Page, or we're going to send Jalen Brunson to G League. Um, let's put, let's sign one more. Shooting guard below um, or, um, Malik Monk. Oh wow, we got um, Montrez Harrell as well. So we really do not need Frank Kaminsky on this team anymore. So I really hate to see that happen. But Frank Kaminsky is pretty much gone. So I pretty much got rid of this whole Hornets team overall. If everything goes well here, hopefully we can get a decent trade. He's got two starter value. Bobby Portis, that'd be a decent bringing guy, but I don't really want him. Um, Bonley, be interesting. Bring back Marvin Williams, but he's signed for 14 mil. He's 32. Um, bring in Alan Crabb, no. Have another first round pick at the end of this year. Um, Shelvin Matt. Sure. Okay. So, um, we pretty much ruined this team. But, um, yeah, Kimbo, you're going to get 36 and not. Now, let's just work on the bitch. Grayson Allen, yes, you will play instead of Malik Monk, which is a big step for this team. He'll average 20 minutes and not. Carol 16, Zubach 16, and now the starters, Barton will get 31, 32, Covington will get 32, or 33 as well, Trini Gomez will get 32 as well, there's the starters, there's the bench, nothing really too special this year, I doubt we'll do anything productive. Um, first scoring option will definitely be Kimball Walker and then Roko. And then we'll get John Collins some love. So we'll play through star, patient offense. We need to rebound. Mid for defense. We gotta play physical D. We gotta crash for rebounds. And now the fun part power rankings. I said we're gonna be near the bottom. We got 26 on. Um, NBA.com 28 on 2K and Mark Spears has a says 28 as well. So that's going to do it for this first episode, part one. What if Grayson Allen was drafted by the Charlotte Hornets? And I will see you all with part two here shortly.